Hello everyone, welcome back with another video. My name is Bappiya Ahmed and I'm your host. So guys, in our previous video, we have already seen like uh, why this data structure and algorithm is so important. So in this video, I'm going to discuss different types of the data structure and algorithm. So guys, here if you see, there are two kinds of data structure. The first one is like primitive data structure and the second one is non-primitive data structure. So whenever I'm talking about primitive data structure, so these are the primitive data structure actually integer, float, character, string and boolean. So this primitive data structure is like very simple uh, like data structure. So here if you see primitive data structure cannot be broken down into subtypes but in the other hand actually non-primitive data structure can be broken down into subtypes. I'll be discussing this part. Uh, first of all let's discuss like uh, primitive data structure like what is integer, what is float, what is character, okay what is string, what is boolean all about. So to understand this one so here is a table guys you can understand this primitive data structure in detail. So whenever I'm talking about primitive data structure so as you can see these are the primitive data structure integer, float, character, string and boolean. I think you already familiar with these are the data structure because in every programming language it is available. So whenever I'm talking about integer uh, kinds of data structures so integer is nothing but it's a numbers without decimal point. So as you can see this is the example 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. And whenever I'm talking about like floating uh, data structures, so so floating is nothing but numbers with a decibel point. So here if you see 3.5, 6.7 and so on. And character uh, is nothing but single character. So ABC, EFG and so on. And string is nothing but it's a text. So if you are writing any kinds of text, so that can be considered a string. And what is Boolean? Boolean is a logical value, true or false statement it will provide. So in Python actually we write uh, true and false in the uppercase character, right? So yes guys, this is the primitive data structure in detail and this is like very simple data structure. So this can not be actually uh, broken down into sub uh, like you can say uh, types. But on the other hand actually if you see non-primitive data structure can be uh, like various types. So here guys if you see non-primitive data structure is two types. One is like linear and other is non-linear. So what is linear? So whenever I'm talking about linear so we have something called uh, static and dynamic. So in static we have array and dynamic we have linked list, stack and queue. I'll be discussing these are the data structure in detail, no need to worry about. As of now, I'm just telling the types of the data structure, but uh, we have dedicated session on it, okay? We'll be discussing each and everything there. And guys, uh, just try to remember this non-primitive data structure is like a complex data structure. So, so whenever you are using this kinds of non-primitive data structure, so it will uh, use something called pointer in the memory, okay? With the help of pointer actually, this data structure works. And if you see, uh, there is another kinds of uh, like non-primitive data structure, which is nothing but non-linear. So non-linear is, uh, if you see here, tree is there, graph is there. So what is the difference between linear and non-linear data structure? So linear data structure is nothing but it's a uh, like a collection of the data. It's a sequence of the data. So let's say if you're uh, defining the linear data structure, so uh, the first data point should be connected with the next one. Next data point would be connected to the third one. That's how it is uh, connected as a sequentially but whenever I'm talking about non-linear data structure so there is no sequence okay sequence doesn't matter there so here actually you can define the data anywhere but you can make a connection in between them so this basically you here you can create one hierarchy okay so yes guys this is all about our, our data structure okay types of the data structure now let's discuss about the types of the algorithm so guys there are various types of algorithm are available if you see here uh, there is a algorithm called sorting uh, what is sorting algorithm a sorting algorithm to sort the data in an ascending or descending order so there are various kinds of sorting algorithm. We have bubble sort, we have uh, let's say merge sort, we have selection sort and so on. I'll be discussing each and everything, no need to worry about, okay? As of now, just try to get it. These are the algorithms are available. Then we have something called uh, search algorithm. So uh, what is search algorithm? To find a specific value in a data set. So we have different kinds of search algorithm. Let's say we have binary search, we have linear search, okay? Different, different search algorithm are there. Then we have something called graph algorithm, okay? So this uh, graph algorithm helps us to work with the data that can be represented as a graph. Then uh, we have, let's say, a simple recursive algorithm. We have divide and concur algorithm. We have dynamic programming uh, algorithm. Then we have greedy algorithm. Then brute force algorithm is there. Then we have randomized algorithm is also there. So guys, uh, here if you see, uh, here is one a simple example of this recursive algorithm. So let's say you have defined one function called sum and this particular function actually, again, you are calling inside the function. Uh, so we call it as simple recursive algorithm. Then we have something called di uh, divide and concur. I think you already saw that. So what is this divide and concur algorithm? So divide and concur algorithm is nothing but uh, it's just to divide the problem into smaller uh, sub problems of the same type and solve these uh, sub problems recursively. Okay. Combine the solution to the sub problems into the solution to the original problem. So this is the idea of this divide and concur algorithm. 
uh, example uh, if you want to see so we have something called quick sort and mar sort that can be used this kind of divide and conquer uh, like you can say algorithm okay i'll be discussing this thing now guys we saw that we had dynamic programming algorithms what is dynamic programming algorithm so this is nothing but they work based on the memorization uh, to find the best solution and we have greedy algorithm uh, we take the best uh, we can uh, without worrying about the future uh, consequences then we hope that uh, by choosing a local opt uh, optimum solution at each step will uh, end up a global optimum solution so this is the logic of this greedy algorithm then we have something called brute force algorithm so it uh, simply tries all the possible uh, until a, a satisfactory solution is found so i'll uh, discuss like what is brute, brute force algorithm whenever i'll be uh, talking about different different uh, data structure there actually i'll be talking about this brute force algorithm okay then we have something called randomized algorithm uh, use a random number uh, at least once during one computing to make a decision okay so this is the idea of this randomized algorithm so i hope you got the overall idea like what kinds of data structure and algorithm we have and don't worry about i'll be discussing each and everything okay no need to worry about but some of the advanced topic i'm not going to discuss like this dynamic programming and all because uh, this thing actually you can learn later on also but i will suggest try to complete uh, at least my uh, like this curriculum okay so whatever curriculum i have showed uh, if you have learned till this point it's completely fine now guys one question would be in your mind like we have seen uh, various kinds of data structure and algorithm now which data structure and which algorithm i should use for a particular problem statement okay so that can be decided uh, uh, like by you actually as a software engineer or let's say as a computer scientist you have to decide like what particular software you are trying to implement okay and uh, which are the algorithm and let's say data structure uh, would be suitable for that application you need to choose from your side okay there is no fixed rule actually you need to use this particular data structure you, you need to use this particular algorithm for that so uh, this is completely actually experiment and it's completely actually experience whenever you are trying to implement any kinds of software okay you just need to decide which algorithm will suit and which uh, data structure will suit for that application itself right so guys whenever we'll be learning uh, of all these data structure and algorithm then you will be realizing okay which would be suitable for your task okay so in our next video actually we'll be doing the environment setup our coding environment setup because uh, we're going to do lots of coding here so that's why actually this coding environment uh, should be ready okay and i will tell you a different different uh, actually uh, i mean alternative you can use okay so with that guys thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you next time